What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're gonna be making egg white delights on the Blackstone. Let's do it. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys a little trick. So here's how you separate egg whites. So you wanna crack your egg in half on the side, split it open over the bowl that you wanna separate the egg whites into. And you simply just go back and forth with the yolk in the two halves of the egg shells. And by doing that, the egg whites magically come out. <laughs> That's it, it's that simple. Show you again, crack the egg in half over the bowl, separate the two shells back and forth Yolk stays in the shell, egg whites go into the bowl. So let's go through the ingredients. We've got our egg whites that we just showed you how to separate. We've got about a quarter stick of butter. We've got four slices of American white cheese, some English muffins, and some Canadian bacon, a little bit of oil and water. Blackstone is cranked up, doing the old hand test for temperature. And we're gonna use the left side of the grill to start with a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna spread that out nice and evenly. And on top of the avocado oil, we're gonna put a little bit of butter. So butter's for flavor. Avocado oil is so the butter does not burn. And I'm using these egg rings for the first time since I got this Blackstone. I have not used them yet, so this would be a nice little experiment for both of us. So here we go, a little bit of butter. Kind of spread them around to where you think the eggs are going to be. And by watching other videos, I, I noticed a lot of people use cooking spray uh, for the inside of the rings of these uh, these egg rings. I did not have cooking spray, so I figured I would just use a little oil on the finger, but <laughs> I left them on the griddle and they get hot. <laughs> so very hot on my finger. Uh, I do not recommend you do that. I would recommend you get some cooking spray. Probably be the best way to do it. If not, uh, do the old uh, finger lubricant uh, before you put them down on the Blackstone griddle. So I turn these around so that the handles are a little easier accessible. Also, if you notice, they're not straight up. I have them kind of tilted down a little bit. And that's so once I get the eggs, the egg whites on, um, I can cover them with the grill dome. And if with them straight up, it's a little bit too tall for the grill dome. So I kind of checked that out beforehand. So that's why they're just tilted down a little bit. No big deal. So that's it. Wrapping up the last one. Very uh, excited to see how this turns out. So let's check it out. That's it. They're ready to go. We got our butter. We got our oil. Temperature looks good. And let's put on the first egg whites. And that's it, you just pour them in there. And you can see there was a couple, there's a little bit of yolk in the first one. There may be a little more somewhere down the line, but it's not a big deal. If the majority of it's egg white, that's kind of what you're going for. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks like it's working. The first one came out a little bit, uh, but the rest of them look like they're holding pretty good. And that's it. Um, so now we're gonna put our Canadian bacon on the other side. Get those nice and browned. Those shouldn't take very long to cook at all. Literally like 
20 seconds aside, I'd say. And while we cook those, we're going to go ahead and put some water down and steam up these eggs with the grill dome. And they shouldn't take very long to cook either. It's a very easy, very convenient uh, way to make some, uh, some awesome breakfast sandwiches. So here we go. We flipped the first time for the uh, Canadian bacon and we'll check them out. So about another 20 seconds has gone by. We flip them again and they are definitely pretty much done here. Let's check on the eggs. Oh, look at those. <laughs> that looks awesome. There's no need to cook these anymore, really. They're pretty much done as well. So at this point, I decide to uh, let's take off the bacon, Canadian bacon, aka ham in, uh, in the States. We'll take that off and just set it off to the side for now. And let's take off these rings. And look at that, man. They stay together perfectly. Come off no problem. And we'll leave those on. Um, check the bottom just to see. They look great. We'll leave those on just to keep them nice and warm. And we're going to build our egg white delights right there on the black stone. So we're just going to leave these on for now. We're going to add a little bit more oil on the other side. Spread it out just like before. And we're going to toast up our English muffins. So again, oil down first. And then we're going to add some butter here for the flavor. So we spread out that butter nice and evenly. And we put our English muffins down. Toast them up here. So nice and evenly both sides and then we want to make sure we get that butter in all of the English muffins. So we're going to press down on them a little bit so they toast nice and evenly. You just want to keep doing this for about a minute or so. Uh, it doesn't take that long, maybe a minute or two to get them nice and toasted. So I've been pushing down on these for a little bit. It's been a couple minutes. Uh, the eggs. I turned off, by the way, I turned off the uh, the heat on the egg side, but I did move them over all the way to the left because that middle still gets a little bit hot. The eggs will stay nice and nice and warm there. You don't want cold eggs on your egg white delay, that's for sure. So after a couple, two, three minutes, we're going to check these, see how they're doing. So while we wait for those to get done, we might as well put the ham on top of the egg whites because that's part of building the sandwich and they'll stay nice and warm there as well. And let's check these. Oh yeah, these are done. So we want to take the tops off once they're done. They want to look like that nice and toasted, evenly, evenly toasted. So we want to take the tops off, set them off to the side and leave the bottoms on because we need to melt that cheese on the bottoms. So tops are off. We'll check the bottoms here. They should be done as well. Yep, they are. So we're gonna just kinda turn these over and get them in a good position to add the cheese and cover with the grill dome and a little bit of steam to melt that cheese. So give them a little bit of room. You don't want them right on top of each other because then that cheese will melt into each other and then you got a mess. So here we go, our white American cheese slices. 
one at a time. Turn it down a little bit because now it's, you can see that smoke coming up. That means that <laughs> that English muffin's getting toasted on the other side now too. So you don't want it burnt. So we kind of turn it down to low. And put that last piece of cheese. And then we're going to add a little bit of water so we can steam these cheese slices and get them nice and melted. Grill dome down. After literally 30 seconds, the cheese is melted beautifully. You can see it dripping onto the black stone. That's it. Now we build eggs. So with cheese on the bottom, egg, then Canadian bacon on top of that, just like they do it at McDonald's. Look how beautiful that looks. And then we have our tops already toasted as well. And we're going to just put those right on top. And man, look how nice that looks. <laughs> I cannot wait to try out the Egg White Delight homemade style. So that's it. We put them on a plate. Get ready to take them inside and check it out. But one last close-up look. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Breakfast time. Whoo! We got ourselves an egg white delight. I can tell you, I don't really eat too much fast food. I like to cook my own food for the most part, but hey, every once in a while I get, you know, a little uh, hankering for some fast food. And this is definitely one of my go-tos. When it first came out, I was all over it. I love egg white stuff. I try to eat a little bit healthy, believe it or not. And uh, I love egg white delight. So this is the first time I make my own homemade on the Blackstone. And we're gonna try it out right now. As you can see, or as you saw on the video, um, it's pretty dang easy on the Blackstone. So uh, I made extras as well. I'm not planning on eating four Egg White Delights this morning. So uh, what I'm gonna do is wrap them up in wax paper and freeze them for the week and just throw them in the microwave. And they're gonna be hopefully awesome. We're gonna try it right now. Here we go. Look at that cheese, nice and melted. The ham, Canadian bacon's in there. Put together nicely. I feel like I just came back from McDonald's. Let me try. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Hang on. Let me close my eyes. Mm. That tastes exactly like the Egg White Delights in McDonald's. And trust me, I've eaten a lot of them. I don't go a lot, but when I do, that's what I get. One more bite, hold on. Mm. Muy bueno. When they changed the menu, and I was thinking of this a long time before they did, to serve breakfast all day long, I was like, whoa, that's a game changer right there. They're still doing it. There must be a reason why, because people love this kind of stuff. So, excuse me. Everybody, I appreciate all the support, the comments. I love, keep the comments coming. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and you'll know when my next video comes out. And uh, I, again, thank you all for subscribing, liking, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat.